Yo guys, it's up Shadow here. Welcome back to another episode of Kenchi. Today our two looters need to go back home, basically. Um which could be a bit of a uh, a problem because, you know, um they're actually quite overloaded or at least a little bit overloaded. So, um what I would like to do, I don't know if it's a smart idea, but we'll see is to get basically somebody um I think it's going to be Molly and basically make her um run towards these two guys and help them out with carrying stuff that might be able to alleviate the the heaviness of all the the equipment and the loot that they're carrying but it, this, it's, it's also a little bit of a danger, because, um, basically, not only do I have to then watch two traveling groups at one time, which might be a bit challenging, to be fair, right now their journey is quite a slow one, as you can see. Um, but also we're further weakening our base by taking one more member out of it. Um, and also, since... Some of them are already wounded, kinda. So our base is already a little bit compromised. Um, if if it's gonna, if there's gonna be another fight at our base, we might have to, you know, kinda evade that fight. Basically, we'll see. Now we'll we'll try to take the same wave of Molly as we did with our good friends, the Hivers. I'm not sure we can do it, but uh. I think for the most part we will be able to pull that off. Now I think one of the biggest dangers that our two Hivers face is um, the Berserkers. You remember back when we uh, when we got over here, like on this part here, we met like a group of Shrek warriors called Berserkers, which uh, proceeded to chase us. Or I think they chased us. I'm not 100% sure. I, pretty, I think they chased us. They might have been chasing another group as well. But... Um, oh, and already... <laughs> already we have uh, company. And that's exactly the problem. Normally, I can outrun these idiots easily. Because they only have an athletic skill. Total speed of 16. And, you know, 26 Molly. Easy. Outruns them. But the problem is the Hivers, they have so much equipment on them that outrunning will not be an option. So I hoped that if we get um, Molly over there, that we can split up the weight in a way that we at least be able to outrun, outrun common bandits. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work. Maybe all of three of them will be kind of overloaded in the end, but we'll see. I mean, as you... As you've been able to observe, she now just outran most of the bandits. There's, I think, one more dude chasing her. Probably the leader, if I had to guess. Yeah, the dust boss still chasing her. But she is so fast, uh, there's no way they can really do anything. I mean, if push comes to shove, I can hide in a hive village. And that is the first goal for these two as well. Get over here and get to that first hive village. And I have the feeling by the time they get there, Molly might be already very close. Yeah, look at how slow these jumps are. No chance of catching up. Especially on this area here, because this is so flat and easily traversed. You don't have to walk around a lot of obstacles, so we can easily just get all our speed and have a big advantage. Also, I'm kind of familiar with this territory now. Um, see, there's the hilly part. We can snake our way through there as well. Oh, what is that? Oh my god, what are these things? Skin spiders. Ew! Look at them! They're hideous! What the shit? Okay. Not gonna play with those... Uh, those guys. Um, abort, abort. Where are they? I cannot even see. Oh, there they are, I think. Yeah, we'll have to try to um, 
run around them, I suppose. Wait, does it say if they're carnivore or herbivore? Does it say that? Skin spiders? No, it doesn't even say that. Hmm. It belongs to the faction of the spiders, which makes sense, I guess. Also, they're just walking, which means I cannot really determine how fast they are. Are these a danger to me? Can I outrun them? Oh, skin spiders. That even sounds creepy, you know? <laughs> Look at how far they're already. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I think it said... I just saw the word dead hovering over my dudes, but um, I think they mean uh, the ruin, not my, my, my guys. That would have been terrifying. Your people are dead. Job well done. Uh, oh. Shek warrior of the Shek kingdom. Huh. Okay. So they're friendly. That would be kind of cool as well if we had a group like that nearby. We could just travel with them and they hopefully would take care of all enemies. Maybe. I don't know. But it's kind of good to know that there's not only hostile people in this area, you know? That there's also sometimes actual friends. That's a good thing to know. Although I have to be extra careful because... Um, I'm not sure I can, you know, like... Uh, Differentiate between the Berserkers and the Shek Warriors, the normal ones, just on sight. So there's a gorilla over there. That's alright. Not too much of a problem. No beak things, as far as I can see. No, I don't think so. I thought I just saw something moving out of the corner of my eye. But I, I think that's, that's something I, I, I... Oh, yeah, it was a speck of dust flying through the air there. Not sure if you can see it on my cursor. Very annoying. Okay. Continue, Molly. Continue your journey. I mean, I'm pretty sure once Molly is in the hive village, the other guys will barely have made contact with the, the coast. Doesn't look like they're getting there quite quickly. <laughs> Vain. Oh, blood rain. Vain with the blood rain. Which is a ter terrible movie. <laughs> okay game. Terrible movie. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll try to stay out of the vegetation area for the most part. Because I don't want to accidentally walk into the long neck boys. Oh! But it okay. Multiple O's. We have enemies attacking... Okay, we have starving bandits, and also we have a gorilla, right? Oh god, now it's multitasking time, isn't it? Oh gee. Let me just, just analyze how many bandits do we have to deal with. One, two, three, four. If it's only four, I can deal with that. Oh boy, okay. First, uh, let's uh, set a target for Molly to run towards, like... Something like this. I hope she will be able to do that. And then all of you... I think I already deactivated their chops, didn't I? No? Okay, there we go. Now they should be deactivated. You get over here. Oh, okay, no, it's way more than that. Okay, nope. Uh, we cannot defend against that might of, of... Against that many people. Not possible. There's a, a shit ton of them. Seriously, like... An incredible amount of people. Yeah, let's run to the hub. We need to dodge them, guys. Dodge them. Oh, no. Logan has already been struck. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to be uh, an interesting uh, micromanaging task, I can tell you that. Somebody ate dried meat, well done. The gorilla is still chasing Molly, should be slow enough to not be able to catch up to her. We'll see. Uh, this situation is kind of interesting. 
Oh, I think they entered. Yeah, okay. They entered our 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 domain. Our 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 domain. Is that what we call it now? Welcome to my domain. <laughs> They're a vampire lord now. No, they entered our fortress and is. Oh, they're still chasing us. That's actually kind of nice if we can. Oh, fuck me. What is going on here? Ah, oh, the typical bandit slaughter, I see. Very nice. Um, well. Oh, no! Yeah, Molly's dead. I think. How do we get there? How do we get... Oh, boy. I don't even... No, she's stuck. She's so dead. Oh, God. I mean, we can try to make it to the Hive Village. I'm pretty sure that won't be possible. Oh, Jesus Christ. So much shit in one, in, in one spot. The thing is, if I just let her run on her own, she will get chased down, basically, I think. Oh, fuck me. If she can make it to the Hive Village, then we might be able to pull this off, but not in not any other way. But this will require, like, an insane amount of micromanaging. Right now, she only has a chest wound. Only, I say. Oh god, but it's so far to the next hive village. Yeah, and we're getting stuck on rocks as well. Oh no. Why are you... There's some weird pathing issues here, seriously. Okay, the next uh, hive village is down there, actually. Smack. Nope. We might be able to make it to the hive village. Oh, and everybody's fighting. Everybody's kung fu fighting. But we have the, the assistance of the, the bar thugs. No, not the bar thugs, but the bar ninjas. So we should be able to pull this off. Oh god, I hate multitasking. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Hold on. <gasps> oh, they found another target. What? Escaped servant. Your sacrifice will always be remembered. Yeah, let's not hide. Let's run, right? We'll, we'll just run. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, at least not for us. Okay, and you all, you medicate yourselves, um, our, yeah, our bozos are still not at the, still not at the coast, which is actually okay for us, gives us a bit more time. You need to definitely go to that frickin' village and bandage yourself. You are wounded gravely in the chest. You know, the, the bad thing is I might meet more be- oh, there's a gorilla, okay, trying to navigate around that. Should be able to outrun the gorilla, but... As we just uh, have seen, we need to make like a bigger bow around this area. Like, completely like this or something. Because if we run into like a group of big things like that next time with, with everybody, then we're gonna die. Or at least one of them is gonna die, especially if we're slow like that. Okay. Let's go into one of these Hiver huts and bandage ourselves, and then we'll manage our villager group. Oh, look, a trader. Hello. What uh, What do you have? Well, I don't actually need anything, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Why are they un in combat? What is wrong with you guys? Okay. Um, do we have money? No, we do... Oh, damn. That's that's the problem. We do not have money. You know, we need, might need to do something real quick. And I think... S who is the quickest of you? Uh, probably... Probably Raggy. Yeah, Raggy. Um, well, Raggy will... For one, Raggy will check if the enemy is still at the base. Why is Kang in combat? What is going on? 
Kang seems to be in combat for some reason. I'm not sure why. Any enemies you can fight? No, not really. I just wanna... Oh, somebody just flew away. <laughs> I just wanna check for once if the enemy is still in the camp. Might be, right? And two, if they're in the camp, if I can... Hostile occupiers, starving bandits. Yeah, okay. So, the goal here is to basically sneak or just walk towards our fortress, get close enough to this container, and basically loot all the copper, then go back to our... Um, oh, oh, damn, Raggy's full of... Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Good work, Raggy. You've telekinetically stole um, some copper. And that, we're gonna sell that and we'll hire ourselves some mercenaries to kick these invaders out of our home. And while we do that, uh, I, yeah, let's, let's try to go along the river towards the next um, Hiver village. I think that's a plan. Alrighty, here we go. Let's try to get through this without another beak thing attack. That would be nice. Oh, it is a dangerous area out here, I have to say. You know, it's not the bandits and the, and the gorillas, it's really the beak thing. It's, just, it's, it's the thing that fucks me up the most. I, I reckon once I, I have a successful fight with a beak thing, I probably will be less frightened of them. But so far, I haven't really had a success story that involves beak things, so I'm kind of... Not terrified, but I'm very apprehensive when it comes to anything that that has something to do with peak things. So, yeah. Also, sometimes it's really hard to see if there's any peak things nearby. I mean... I couldn't tell you if there's anyone nearby. Really couldn't. Okay, let's check on Raggy if he's already... No, he's not there yet. Fine, we'll switch back. I can't see anything. Uh, well, we'll just have to run. Run and hope for the best. I'm still not quite sure why these two are blinking red. Normally that happens if an enemy is targeting you and you're not um, with the camera on your character, right? It's like a warning. But I'm not sure what's targeting them. Because I haven't seen any enemies nearby. Oh, Gorillo. Can we sneak past it? I mean, we have sneak... 3. <laughs> With a minus 7 modifier. That is... You know, I've seen worse, I guess. That's good enough. Bye! <laughs> okay. Oh, they're soon. Soon they will be actually at the coast. What a great thing. Now, I'm still kind of debating with myself if I should take the river route or the uh, elaborate route around this area. I'm still not sure. I feel the route around it is probably safer, but it takes way longer and it's more micromanaging. Which is kind of annoying at this point, but you know. Let's check back with... Oh yeah, Raggy is uh, in town. Very good. You need to sell some copper. Ah, you see, copper. There you go. Let's see how much we get for that. I think we need something like a thousand to hire mercenaries, right? Uh, this is the mercenary. Guard my outpost. Minimum two days. Yeah. You go. You go and clean up, buddies. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice surprise for these stupid bandits. We're gonna enjoy seeing them murdered. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to say, it's a whole gorilla family. No, it's a... Uh... Ah, it burns. Yeah, you can deal with it. It's okay. 
Stay the hell out of the water. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, let's go. You're so near to that hyper village. You're doing good, Molly. You have survived the beak things, which is not something I thought I would say. <laughs> but you can't. I, I was kind of lucky because you, I probably could have kited them towards the the base, uh, the hyper village. But um, two of them got just somehow blocked by terrain, and one of them was distracted, so... Human, welcome! Hello. I'm just here, I'm basically, um... Oh. Fight, let's bloody trade, whatever. Um, I'm basically just, uh... Use your store as an inn. <laughs> Ah, uh, my buddies are not here yet. Okay. So we'll place ourselves right here. And then we'll await our mercenary force. Meanwhile, let us... Let's actually continue towards the coast. It's only a short run. Just don't swim, okay? Hi, kitty. What are you playing with? I think she's playing with magic cards. Which I would encourage if she would play, like, you know, magic with it, but she uses it as... <laughs> as, as some sort of weird toy. <laughs> Stop that. What are you playing with? It's certainly not one of the toys we bought you, it's something weird. That's like, that's what cats do, right? You buy them like 17 toys. All like specially made for them. Ah, shit. Ah, shite. Yeah, okay, that is a problem. That is a big problem, actually. Also, I'm not even sure now, do these things swim? Ah, fuck, what do we do? We might have to... I mean... Wait, where is it now? Oh, oh, it's actually coming towards Molly. Yeah, Molly, you need to get the hell out of there. You actually need to kind of wait at the hive village, I have the feeling. And where are my other two guys? Oh, these things can go into water, right? So we cannot... Oh, and there's a gorilla too. Yeah, you two need, you need to stop right there for a second, because right now we cannot really do anything. The coast is littered with bad guys. So we're not really able to do anything with you. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. And also, I just realized almost the whole episode, these two guys actually have basically um, used the time to get there, to swim to the coast. Which is insane, if you think about it. They have now a swim skill of 56, to be fair, but, you know. Okay, the gorilla is moving in this direction. That is fine. I've completely lost sight of the beak thing, which... Oh, no, there it is. Maybe they will move close to the hive where they get attacked, if we're lucky. Speaking of attacked... Oh, yeah, okay. It's starting soon. Can we actually put them into sneak? Yeah, we can. Because I don't want, to t want them to be discovered. Right? So here we go. We'll see. Uh, will they just walk in or will the bandits start shooting at them and then they will run? We might need to run in with them just to give them a little bit of support, you know? Yo, guys, you know, don't hesitate. You know, take it easy. But there's only four of them. Ugh, that's not good. I thought it was more than them. Yeah, the thing is, we, we might just use them as cannon fodder, essentially. Let's all sneak. Let's all not try to not get discovered, right? Because I'm pretty sure they have, uh, once again, yeah, um, gotten to all of the shooting areas. Definitely. Try to get as close to the entrance as we can. Oh god, this 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 multitasking is really fucking me up. <laughs> My 
I don't even see the gorilla anymore. I'm not sure if that is a good sign or not. But we're sneaking now towards Molly. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try to sneak towards Molly. And hopefully not get eaten alive by something nasty. Yeah, now we have to switch back and forth. It's so annoying. Mercenaries are continuing. I wonder how well these guys see on the wall. Will they be able to, to discover us or will we, can we just sneak towards the door and just rush in? Don't seem to be aiming at the mercenaries. I guess the mercenaries are neutral until they run in. Is that is that correct? Is that how it works? Because if that is how it works, then... <laughs> oh, crap, Gorillo. Oh, why must you be here, furry one? Okay, but if that is the case, we might just wait until they get in and then basically we'll raise hell as... Oh, no, Soto, what are you doing? No! Oh, I think they got discovered. Maybe, huh? Uh, try to run into a house. It's actually the best, uh, the best idea. Run into the house and try not to get shot, will ya? Yeah, come on, come on. And now you fight in here. Oh, Jesus, don't get beaten up by this jump. What are you doing? There you go, that's what I want to see. Oh, okay, now we have them. Okay. The chick is up, lads. The chick is up. Go get them. Go get these ass-faced clowns. Sorry, couldn't think of a better swear. Uh, let's get this guy. Uh, you two get this guy before he shoots you. Oh, yeah, Rocket just got shot, but that's okay. We can deal with it. I'm just... Oh, I have to... You know, I know that you can um, switch your guys into different squads. I should totally do that, because right now I cannot really differentiate uh, who is being attacked or not by easy visual um, cues. Oh, Logan, don't get shot. Don't get shot, Logan. Yeah, okay, kite away, that's fine. Now we can attack, because now we have somebody attacking... That shooter on the top. Yeah, okay. We're cleaning this out. Very nice. That, that worked quite nicely with the mercenaries. Yeah, you're toast, buddy. Mm. Snap. No, Rooka. Don't shoot, please. Don't. You're not that good at it. <laughs> Bart is also on the freaking... Uh, why do uh, they always man guns and then not be able to shoot at anybody? That's kind of weird. Yeah. This is Sparta, bastard! Come on! Bye! Whee! <laughs> Alright. I think most of them are down. Most of them. Let's see what's going on over here. Where is the gorilla gone? Can't see him. Okay. Would be nice if we could use the cover of the night to get towards the, the village. Even though it's filled with hivers who hate our gods, but you know. Oh! We see damage numbers from the hive village. Ah, okay. So, hmm, interesting. The beak thing is killing gorillas. Oh, 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 and that is also not good. They have been. Oh, shit. What? Where did that come from? Seriously? Can we run faster than that thing? No, we cannot. Split up! <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're doing not so well. Just in case you didn't... Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. Um, you know what we have to do? I have an idea. Um, using telekinetic, 
telekinesis to transport stuff over. We have to try to get rid of some of these... Uh, some of these things, so he's not as heavy anymore as he is right now. Because he seems to be able to get away right now. Come on, Bombingham. Also, I have the feeling we need to now get Molly over there as well. Even though there is a freaking peak thing. Oh, freaking hell. Oh, now he's going after Bombingham. What a absolute dick. Now we basically have to switch everything back, do we? Oh, wait, can we attack him and then basically provoke? No, we cannot. Oh, for frick's sake. Can we just move that over? Yeah, we actually can. That's interesting. Oh, wow. That is, that is a evil move. The gorilla seems to go after the slower one. That is not a nice friend, family friendly move there, sir. But we might be able to abuse this. <laughs> By basically just switching backpacks all the time. Oh, you want to run off? Oh, shit! From... How, how do you say that? From the fire into the frying pan or something? Oh, God. Can we let this run in, in, in um, slow-mo? Because I have the feeling oh, we will get clapped in a second here. Okay, can Bombingham already start to move things towards Molly? Is she close enough? No, she's not. Not yet. Come on, Bombingham. Is she close enough now? Please say yes. Yes, she is. Okay, we need to quickly start tossing over some things. He needs to be... Yeah, he still needs to be faster. He needs to drop more things. What is heavy? This is two kilos. Two kilos. Oh, well, this thing, obviously. Not enough room for that item. But if you do that, you will have. Give that to Molly. Uh, do we... Uh, I don't think we're, we're outrunning it. 15 miles per hour, and what are we at? He's on 20 miles per hour, and Bombingham is on 11 right now because of over encumbrance. Yeah, okay. So we'll move some things to Silver Shade over here. I think now we might be able to outrun. Oh boy. If, if, we, if we're successful, I don't know what to say. Seriously. Ah, uh, Bombingham is still too slow, I think. 13 miles per hour and Silver Shade is on 20. Okay, so move some things to Silver Shade. I think this thing is quite heavy, isn't it? No, it's one kilo. Oh, it just stuck. It got stuck. Nice. Move. And this thing is still fighting with, with a, a gorilla. Holy crap. What is going on over here? Why is there still fighting? Okay, they seem to be just 10 v one somebody for some reason. Not sure why. Why is he so much over-encumbered? That is insane. I don't quite understand how that works. Is it because he has a low athletics uh, thing? Is that the, the reason? No, Bombingham, you don't fight the guy. Please don't. Although, if you fight him, he slows down for a second. That might be a trick. Oh, shit, the beak thing just got... Okay, the beak thing is eating, apparently. So maybe it's not attacking for a second there. Ooh, it just tried to fight us. Oh, don't. Guys, don't get eaten by a gorilla, please. I don't even know if gorillas eat you. Holy Lord! What is even what is even going on? Oh Jesus! Leave me alone, you freaking silverback prick! 
Okay, he's, he's going for an attack. I'm not quite sure on whom, but you go over here and you dodge to this side. Go! Good job. Could the Hivers please fight with us? Please? Come on! I know we're like Hiveless, but that doesn't mean you have to let us die. Oh god, we made it. Holy Jesus. I don't have a repair kit. What? Oh, did he try to repair one of the skeleton legs? Is that what he tried to do there just now? Hold on. Are the skeleton legs damaged? Can I can I see that? If they're damaged? Max HP. Hmm, cannot really see if they are, but... Okay. So at least they made it um, back into safety for now. Relative safety, that is. And we're still fighting. That's insane. How many bandits were in our fortress here? That is insane, man. I think we just threw them all out, didn't we? Is that it? Can we confirm that that is it? Hostile occupiers. No, it still says that there's enemies here. Let's check the walls real quick. Oh yeah, look, there's still some idiots. Um, looks like just one, but on the far way uh, wall over there. So let's get them. Let's give him a nice little group hug, shall we? Whoa! I didn't know he could fire like that. Hello, buddy. What's up? Let me slice you to ribbons. Zing. Uh, why is Logan... What? What is Logan doing? Why is Logan not fighting with his iron club? Or is he fighting with his iron club and it just doesn't look like it? I don't know. Okay. So, is there any other idiots left? Because I... Yay! Starving Bandit Squad has been removed. Thank you. Thank you, mercenaries, for your great job. And thank you that you're all safe now. Now we have to kind of try to split up the loot in a way that is um, feasible. Right now, Bombing Ham is on lightweight. Meaning he could take some more. Yeah, we'll do that next time, actually. It's been going on for too long now. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.